We're all here together with one simple message for the Australian government. We expect better. Yeah! We expect transparency and accountability, and most importantly, we expect decency and compassion from our government. Now we're going to hear briefly from a few speakers today and to start the day off I'd like to invite Father Rod Bauer to speak to us. Hey. Thanks, wow, what an amazing gathering. Yeah. Thank you for coming. I wonder if uh, those who feel comfortable and able to do so, uh, if you could take off your shoes please. Oh. <laughs> Only if you feel comfortable and able to do so, uh, if you can take off your shoes. Thank you. Are we going to throw them? No, we're not going to throw them. <laughs> we stand today not only in a place of great beauty, but also in a place of great privilege. We are not only free to enjoy this uh, natural wonder, but also free to assemble and free to speak. Yes. But these privileges come with great responsibility. In 2003, some archaeologists discovered on the ancient shores of Lake Mungo near the New South Wales-Victoria border, human footprints, some 25,000 years old. It's a lovely scene painted by these footprints, the scenes of the Willandra people walking in the footsteps of their ancestors, who by that stage had already inhabited the country for 25,000 years. Adults meandered along as children ran ahead and then, as they do, back to their parents. Prior to European settlement, there were no hard-footed animals in this land. Even the humans, or perhaps especially the humans, were soft-footed. <laughs> this is a fragile continent whose body and soul are easily damaged by hard-footedness. And while this land is delicate in its heartbreaking beauty, it can respond to disrespect with unbearable ferocity. It will, however, embrace those who in their desperation crawl on their hands and knees to our shore or sit in the poverty of its dust. Our parliament is behaving in a way that could be likened to mindless jackbooted armies trooping across the land, consuming all in its path, executing a scorched earth policy with no mind for human or natural collateral damage. Disturbing as this is in and of itself. What is even more disturbing is that it is being done at least in this moment of time with the support of a narrow majority of the Australian people. Yeah. This support comes not from an ideological base, but from the illusion of fear. Fear of the stranger, the unknown, the unfamiliar. In the midst of this fear, we are vulnerable. Vulnerable to anyone who can create the misconception of safety through the false promise of their false protection. But it is an illusion. Because if our foundation is fear, then we can never ever feel truly safe. And we will allow the ever-increasing erosion of our freedoms all the time believing that this will make us feel more secure. This is no more than an accelerating spiral into slavery to those who seek nothing more than power and control. However, at this point, it is not our mission, as much as we might like it to be, it is not our mission to change the government in the first instance, but to change the mind of the Australian people. Yeah. To change the mind of the Australian people by promoting an ethic of compassion, 
We need to build our future on an ethic that is able to recognise the suffering of others and realise the truth that when one human being is diminished, all humanity is diminished. And when the innate dignity of one human being is recognised, all humanity is dignified. Today, we may take the shoes off our feet and we may know that we stand on sacred ground and that we who have the privilege of a voice and the freedom to use it hold in our hearts and in our hands the fragile and sacred hearts of the poor, the helpless and the voiceless. We must in every way possible seek to inform the people with the truth that is now being denied us by our government. The truth about Manus, Nauru and Christmas Islands. The truth about the treatment of asylum seekers. The truth that it is not illegal to seek asylum. The truth about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The truth about coal seam gas, of reef dumping, of Medicare and education. The truth, the truth, the truth. We must come to know that a great nation, if it is to survive, must build its foundation on the dignity of all humanity and the integrity of the natural world. We will change the minds of the Australian people. But not by attacking politicians, but by having better ideas. Ideas that come not from short-term political expediency, but from the deep desire for a peaceful, sustainable society. Built on freedoms that are not maintained by the exercise of power, but by respect for human dignity. When the integrity of these ideas is self-evident, the hearts and minds of the people will follow. So when you go home today, go to the people you know. Say to them, we are better than this. We are capable of better ideas than this. And if this government does not change its policies, we will change the government. <laughs> So now may you walk gently through this land. May your God bless you and if you don't have one, may you bless one another. Thank you so much.